welcome back people welcome back we got to talk about blazing today and just to let you guys know i'm i'm gonna keep up with the channel a little bit more okay and then look uh, look at that my phone alarm just goes off that's that's fucking crazy uh currently it's 4 a.m uh the update finished at 3 a.m so i'm doing this an hour late so let me tell you guys something cool about blazing that's happening right this moment uh, right now we got the Chojuro banner. It's a three-step banner. I think you're guaranteed Chojuro on the last step. And let me tell you guys, this is the Mitsukage version of Chojuro, meaning this is Boruto stuff, okay? So Blazing is making the slow move into the Boruto stuff, but right now they're kind of they're kind of just hanging this little line, this the small silver lining in between, where they're kind of just doing the last stuff, right? Naruto the last stuff. And then they're doing like Boruto right now, which is the beginning of Boruto being Chojuro right now coming out on Blazing. Uh, but we're going to talk about Chojuro stats. We're going to talk about Kiba because she put in Kiba. Fourth Ninja War Kiba also came out. Let me tell you guys something. I understand these units are not hype at all. Uh, not a lot of people have a fandom uh, for these characters. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot of people are super excited for them uh, because they tend to be those sideline characters. But hey. That doesn't matter. As long as the, tat, the, the stats are good, that, that's what people are looking forward to, right? So, we're going to start out with the main man, the main course, uh, Chojuro, right? 56 cost. It's, it's funny to see this. It's not an 80 cost unit. It's a 56 cost. Um, and I don't know if that's specifically just uh, special to uh, Blazing Bash and Blazing Fest. But, you know, just to note, this isn't an 80 cost unit. He's a hard type. 1002 HP, 1400 attack, the long range, and then look at the field skill, bro. I don't, I don't know what Bandai is doing with this shit or Gree, right? Because they're the developers. You know, this chance to counterattack is so trash. Like, how often does that really come in handy for you guys? Like, be honest with me in the comments. How often do you see counters actually do work? Like, there be times where I've been saved on PvP a few times from the counter but i've never ever ever seen it like come in handy like that right it's not something that happens often it's more like something that happens on a, on a blue moon now the body skill is fantastic okay boost attack by 200 that shit is dope that shit is dope like because the game works on this multiplier system when you do juices and ultimates that extra 200 attack comes in handy all right it comes in real good handy now the other thing i love about chojo is He's AOE all around, okay? And he's a 4 and 8 chakra cost. Come on, dude. He's he's a good... Yo, he's so far, so far, he's looking good, all right? So first jutsu, 4.7 times attack to all enemies. Ignores perfect dodge, my boy. Then the ultimate is 10.5 times attack. Uh, ignore substitution. So this man can ignore perfect dodge and can ignore substitution, okay? That's crazy. That's That blows my mind, okay? Now for... The first dupe, increase multiplier of Jutsus by one. Already, you're like, whoa, holy shit. That's that's really good. That's really good. Then the dupe ability, uh, the second one is boost attack by 100. Then boost HP by 200. Another attack boost, but this one, 200. Then 20% chance to erase chakra consumption of the first Jutsu. It doesn't end there, though, people. It doesn't end there. Look at the sync skills. If you sync with heart you get a reduced damage from body enemies by 30 percent 30. that comes in real good handy when you're doing uh the subjective missions real good handy god damn it now sync with long range boost attack by 200 so you get another attack boost but it doesn't end there it does not end there pvp 30,000 hp 2200 attack and 267 speed let me tell you something man this unit is a motherfucking beast. He's a beast. I don't care what people say. He's a beast, okay? He has solid dupe abilities, a solid chakra uh, cost. He's AoE all around. He has nice sync skills that actually matter. He's good for PvP if you want to use him that way. Come on, bro. The only thing trash about this man is the field skill. It's trash. 30 to 60% chance to counterattack. Get the hell out of here with that shit. Even the cost is actually decent. All right. Now, 
let's move on to Kiba because Kiba is again not hyped but we're gonna talk about him he's a ninja road unit so you guys can make your decisions automatically before I tell you guys the stats so funny thing is Kiba as a ninja road unit has more cost than Chojuro so he has 60 cost he's also a hard type 1726 HP 2026 attack which is really good really really good I'm not gonna lie and he's short range so you know goes hand in hand now <coughs> this is where I find the problem to kind of start going bad okay field skill 28 to 50 percent chance or to 56 percent chance to counter attack when hit then the body skills are this chance of being countered by 35 percent then the jutsu 5 and 10 chakra all right so yeah, it's whatever first jutsu is single target 70 percent chance of slip damage for six turns and knocks them back the ultimate however is actually kind of nice you get a 25 percent attack boost for seven turns 5.4 times attack to all enemies in range removes their barrier and pulls them closer that's 10 chakra now you look at the dupe abilities he only has four dupe abilities half of them being trash first one is reduced chance of being countered by 15 percent second one boosts attack by 150 reduced chance of being countered by 15 percent again then ignore substitution i don't know what the fuck they did with kila but you could tell that the developers had this real big fear of getting countered or of Kiva getting countered. Okay, like his field skill has to do with a chance to counter counterattack. The butt skill has some something to do with reduces chance of being countered. The, the dupe abilities reduces chance of being countered again. It's like, dude, those should not be dupe abilities, period. They should not be field skill. They should not be body skills. I feel like that is the most garbage thing you could give any unit. Doesn't matter if it's summonable. Doesn't matter if it's free. Doesn't matter if it's an emergency unit. It doesn't matter, bro. That dupability should not be there, period. That is my opinion. You guys could agree or disagree. It doesn't matter. All I'm saying is I feel that at the end of the day, they could have given him something good, something decent. Uh, because Ninja Road units are very, very annoying to grind for. Getting the coins is annoying as hell to grind for. So just imagine you sitting there trying to get dupes for this guy and then figuring out like, okay, I got him. I matched him out. I'm not going to use him, you know? And and I feel like that's where the big problem lies with, with, with these um, free units on Blazing. It's like they give them to you, but they're not useful. So it, it makes them kind of like trash. Uh, now for PvP... Kiba is not that bad when you think about the HP and the attack, but then the speed is horrible. The speed is horrible. And as you guys know, in PvP, um, speed and power is the most thing, like basic thing, right? It's the thing that you need the most. And Kiba has one of those two things, which is, I mean, you know what? Let, let's say three things because the HP does also matter. Uh, he has 36,000 HP, 4,000 attack, 132 speed. That's... That's trash. 132 speed is not going to do shit to you. Unless you put him in the bottom and you have him piggyback off a fast unit, then yeah, you could probably use him. But uh, I, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. So next thing I want to talk about, okay? It's going to be my last and final thing. So Chino, the impact rate got teased on JP. And as you guys know, with these impact rates, they always have a unit that you can summon for to beat this impact rate a lot easier. Now... It's very easy to tell that it's probably going to be Sasuke, all right? So this Sasuke, this specific Sasuke, you know, doesn't have the the last outfit. But, you know, he's called Wandering Sasuke or Wandering Shinobi Sasuke. But he's not quite the adult version, like like the one that has Sarada as a child and, and is married to Sakura. This isn't that adult version. It's the version from the last, um, you know, era of Naruto. So... Given that, I would suggest you guys save up your pearls. Save them up. Because Sasuke, I know, he's an Uchiha, bro. Every Uchiha in this game, on any Naruto game, is very much lo loved by everybody. Everybody wants to play them. And Sasuke being, like, the most hype Uchiha aside from Itachi. I feel Itachi is number one. But, like, Sasuke is probably number two, and then Madara is, like, number three. 
everybody's going to want Sasuke. I guarantee you everybody's going to want Sasuke. So save up your pearls. If you're on Global, definitely set them up. If you're on JP, either buy or save them. Uh, but it's not going to be too long until this drops on JP, which probably is going to be next week. And I'm excited, man. I'm truly excited. I got caught without pearls on JP, but I'll try to grind some with the uh, you know daily missions and whatnot. And hopefully, hopefully I can get them. Now, I'm going to end the video here, but I'm going to quickly just leave the video off with a, a, a quick note for you guys. Uh, I know I haven't uploaded and I haven't been consistent. Uh, I apologize. Like I told you guys before, I've been kind of like uh, in a rut, like mentally, like I haven't been motivated to do a lot of videos or anything like that. But you know what? I'm, I'm feeling it now. I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. I'm going to do maybe three videos today. So expect that. To, to drop anytime soon today um and they're gonna be storm and, and blazing related so if you guys like that kind of stuff you already know what to do hit that like button subscribe and do all that good stuff and i wish you good luck with Chojo if you really want him i feel he's a good unit and i wish you good luck for sasuke but i'm pretty sure i'll make another blazing video before sasuke drops anyways guys i'm out peace